The Poke Battle by Alex the Genius. You see this. You see this, and you probably think, Wow, that's a beat up team. He probably just got through a really difficult fight. Maybe a gym leader or something. Or something to that effect. But that's not what happened. This was not the result of some epic Pokemon battle for the history books, no. This was the result of a single fucking level 35 Clefairy. Let me tell you all the story. The fight began like any other. I was making my way up Celestial Tower when I encountered a trainer, a Pokefan no less. When he sent out his only Pokemon, a level 35 Clefairy, <laughs> I laughed at the thought of easily crushing this trainer. Sending out my Crocrock, Gordon, I started the battle. I first used Crunch. Taking out a good two-thirds of the Clefairy's health, I thought for sure that this fight would soon be over. I was wrong. Crunch seemed like a good move at first, but it set off a chain of events that could not be stopped. Due to the Clefairy's cute charm, <laughs> Gordon fell in love with it. Not only this, but the Clefairy's first move was none other than Minimize. On the next turn, despite these circumstances, I figured I'd just try to get a quick crunch in and finish the job done. Gordon, however, was paralyzed by love. The Clefairy proceeded to use Metronome, which ended up being Ingrain. The Clefairy then began to restore some of its health thanks to this. Not wanting to take any more chances, I switched to my trusty Arcanine, Admiral. Admiral had never failed me before, always being there in the nick of time to save the day in a blaze of glory. On the turn used to switch Pokémon, the Clefairy had used Minimize once again. Attempting to finish the enemy off quickly, I had Admiral use Flamethrower. This, however, missed. The Clefairy used Minimize. And this continued. Admiral just could not seem to hit the enemy, and each time the enemy just kept getting harder to hit while all the time also slowly regaining what damage I had managed to do. After capping out its evasiveness, the Clefairy proceeded to begin using cosmic power to get its defense slash special defense. As Admiral struggled to defeat this enemy, the enemy just kept getting stronger and healthier. Soon the Clefairy's defense slash special defense was capped. It was then that it unleashed Stored Power, a move powered up through the user raising its stats. With the Clefairy having raised its defensive stats so much, this attack ended up one-shotting Admiral. It then proceeded to one-shot Jack the Axew, Babalaza the Amphoras, and Frank the Duat, all trying in vain to do some damage. Eventually, it was back to just Gordon left. Gordon, being a dark type, was not affected by Stored Power, a psychic move. Here was where the real fun began. Not being able to actually hit Gordon, the Clefairy continued to attempt to use stored power until it ran out of power points. Then it moved on to Metronome, which failed to do any real damage before this, too, ran out of power points. As this was happening, Gordon was trying desperately to actually hurt the enemy. Using a dire hit and a single X accuracy slash attack that I had on me, and spamming any attack he had, he struggled and struggled to hurt it. But between Gordon falling in love with it again, due to cute charm when a crunch somehow actually managed to land, and it using Minimize so much, Gordon simply could not do enough damage to outweigh the effect of Ingrain. And so came at least five minutes of Gordon attempting to attack and being immobilized by love, missing, or doing too little damage, as the Clefairy continued to use Minimize and Cosmic Power that no longer actually had any effect. Eventually, Lessedly, the Clefairy ran out of moves and began to hurt itself with struggle. Slowly, but steadily, the Clefairy begins to die, with the struggle damage being more than Ingrain could heal. After some time, the Clefairy was a single struggle away from fainting. With much pleasure, I told Gordon to just use some random attack, and I waited for the Clefairy to faint. The motherfucker used a goddamn hyper potion and brought it back to full fucking health! Gordon stared open mouthed at the enemy as I just silently stared at the scene for a full minute. The level of rage I was experiencing had never been felt since people in second grade used to make fun of me and call me a girl. 
Then, however, I kind of just spent a bit more time letting the Clefairy use struggle again, and finally, blessedly, the Clefairy ended up causing its own end due to struggle. Seeing that tiny sliver of HP on it tick away and hearing its death cries made me happier than I've ever been since 8th grade when I punched this one really annoying guy in the face. Gordon stood triumphantly over the corpse of its enemy, awash in his great victory as he proceeded to gain a level from the XP earned. Together, we spat in the Clefairy owner's face, and then slowly turned away and walked towards the Pokémon Center. We must have been TM87 then, or 34 for you old schoolers, because we were swaggering. The moral of the story is, make sure to save more than once every three hours, so you can just restart the game when things like this happen, so you don't waste 20 plus minutes of your life just to defeat a fucking Clefairy. Hi guys! Thanks for checking out The Poke Battle. If you want to read the original story, click the link in the description. This episode was illustrated by the very talented Anno Lee. Please check out their other stuff. Today's honorable mention goes to... That Poor Poor Child, a story written from the perspective of an NPC in Twitch Plays Pokemon.